Hey everybody, Ann here, and guess what? It's raining. You hear that? It is starting to rain. Not hard enough to be really collecting anything. So I don't know. I wish it would just start raining really hard. I can't believe I'm actually saying that. And I hope the slope of this roof is enough to make the rain go down it. I think it is. I think it is. Yup, it's a very slight so slope, but see, look at the wind is just coming up a little bit, but it's not enough to make it go crazy. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Maybe this will work. Okay, it's starting to rain a little bit more. And here, let me turn this camera around. Look, look, look. It's starting to drip off the roof. It is, it is dripping off the roof and it is going down onto here. It's collecting it and I'm getting water. Can you see that? I'm getting water and it's coming down faster. I just want to stand out here in the rain. Oh, look at that, you guys. It is coming down. It's working, it is working. Oh my goodness, let me see how much we've got. Just a tiny smidgen. It looks like there's some stuff coming down in the bottom there, but it is working. It is working. Oh my goodness. How did that stuff get through? That must be tiny, tiny stuff, or it may have been in there before, and I just didn't see it. But look, it's working. I'm getting water. I can't wait. I cannot wait to see how much I'm going to get. I'm so excited. Big dance, let it rain, let it rain, yeah! Okay, I am just, I am just amazed. I know this is really boring for you and it's, my phone's getting all wet, I'm getting all wet, but look at, it's really coming down now. You know what, I'm gonna go get my, my fishing bucket out of the van because I don't know if it keeps raining like this, I may need another bucket. This is fantastic. This is my fishing bucket, which used to be my wine-making bucket, but I just got this underneath the house right now to collect a little bit because it's a little bit dirty on the inside, fishy stuff and whatnot. Um, so, I mean, I can always kind of like rinse that out and, and dump it out, but look at this, guys. It's really coming down and it's really working. It is working really good. And look at how much I've got already. Oh my gosh, there must be three inches of water down in there. It's not the cleanest water because, like I said, this tarp is not the cleanest to begin with. But, every time it rains, it's going to get cleaner and cleaner. <sighs> it's working. Yay! It's only been raining about 15 minutes and I've already got almost an inch of water. And that's just coming off of this roof. And so let's see what's going on over here. I went ahead and moved the center blocks. <gasps> Look at 15 minutes of rain and I've got a bucket full of water. My goodness. Okay, I'm just gonna let this fill up just a little bit more. 15, 20 minutes of rain and I've already got all of this water. This is freaking amazing. Oh my goodness. I gotta go get that other bucket and switch it out. All right, here's the first bucket. It is basically completely full. It's a little dingy water. Um, you can still tell there's clay in it and there's some sediment in it and whatnot, but that's okay. I'm gonna take it into the shed and put a lid on it and just see how that all settles down. I'm not gonna be using this for drinking. I will be using it for washing. Um, and like somebody suggested, soak my feet. Um, I may filter it and someday be able to drink it, but for right now there's no way, of course, I could drink it unless I boiled it or distilled it, and I need to get that particulate out. But that is 15, 20 minutes tops, and this is how much I got, five gallons. So I put my fishing bucket, and <laughs> sorry old pal, but you're being used for something else, and um, I just put the screen over the top of it and I didn't even dent it down. Doesn't really need it. The water's going right in. 
So let's see if I can fill this pick up too. Oh my goodness. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. And there we have it. One full bucket of water, five gallons. And you know what? I can even use this for planting, say like if it stops raining ever, which is unlikely. But um, I think that once that tarp gets cleaner and cleaner, the water's going to get cleaner and cleaner. Eventually, I may be able to distill it or boil it so I can use it in cooking. And I can definitely put it on plants. I can use it to wash with. If I'm going to wash dishes, I'll add a little bit of bleach to it. Um, I can wash clothes with it. Um, although I don't know that I'll wash clothes with that water because it, you know, it, it is just a little too dingy. I think it needs to be cleaner. But that is so fantastic. Let's see how much after five minutes. Well, actually like three minutes. Um, how much is in the other bucket already? All right, this is already looking cleaner. I'd say about three minutes and we've already got probably between one and two inches. You know what, guys? I'm going to need more buckets. Ha <laughs> ha! This is the fishing bucket. After about another, mm, I want to say, ten minutes, uh, it's already filled over halfway full. So you know what I did? I just went ahead and dumped that other bucket out completely and kind of swash, sloshed it around and rinsed it because the clay was settling to the bottom, um, which is a good thing. That's what we want. But I'm just going to get a little bit more water in here and just wash it out really, really good because it looks like the water that is now coming down into this bucket is much, much cleaner. So the tarp must be getting really nice and cleaned off. And I think each time it's going to get even better because I'm not seeing any of the sediment in there and I'm not seeing any of the clay color in there. So this is, this is great. I mean, I don't know how many more times I have to show you this uh, because you're going to get bored, but me, I am fascinated and I am just so excited. So when this one fills up, I'm going to go get the other one, put it underneath and hopefully we'll get some nice clean water in there. The rain has been waxing and waning, but after about another 30 to 45 minutes, this clean bucket, not the fishing bucket, got completely filled. I mean, it was filled to the brim to the point where it was spilling over the side. And that water is crystal clear. It's clean. There's no clay in it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on this one. And I've got the fishing bucket underneath now to hopefully get some more water, maybe another full five gallons. So this has been a success. Altogether, I would say I've harvested over the period of an hour, one to two hours tops, about 20 gallons of water because I dumped them out a couple times to kind of wash them out and whatnot and rinse them out. Um, and it's still raining, so I'm going to get more. So I've got five gallons that's clean. Um, hopefully by tomorrow morning I'll have another five gallons. And so this is going to work. I just need to get more buckets. <laughs> I am so happy. You know, it's just these little simple things um, that a lot of people take for granted, like having water, getting water. Now, like I said, I'm not going to be able to drink it, but I'll be able to do laundry more often. Um, I'll be able to just, I, I won't have to worry so much about making the decision of, well, I'm going to use this drinking water to put in my porta potty or to take a bath, or am I going to drink it and let my dog drink it? Um, and just so you know, if I'm not going to drink the water, I'm not going to give that water to my dog to drink either. I mean, it would probably be fine, but no. So this this has just worked out great. I'm so happy. And this has kind of really improved my quality of life. But I need to get more buckets or bigger containers. I was thinking about a big trash can. Somebody suggested a metal trash can, but I'm not so sure the metal would be a good idea. But then there's some plastics that wouldn't be a good idea either. But either way, it doesn't matter. You know, even if I just get a bucket a week, you know, um, I'm going to really build up my store of water. And eventually I will start filtering it and maybe distilling it. And i got to get a still. I used to have a still a long time ago, but I got rid of it. Um, but this has been great. So I'm going to give myself a big thumbs up. Yeah, it worked. And anyhow, that's all I got for you. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.